back to my channel. Hey, welcome back to our channel. Honestly, <laughs> with this pregnancy, I have had so many contractions, I guess, Braxton Hicks, Hicks contractions, and they're so intense sometimes. I'm like, oh my God, it's like, is this the beginning of labor? I hope not. Like, I still have two months to go. Video today, we are going Mama. to be. Yeah, we have an exciting video today. We are going to be continuing the. Hey, back to my channel. I'm going to be continuing the nursery so i have clips from the other day when we started to take out all of the office equipment and all those things and then today we're going to get into more of the nitty gritty we're going to take out everything from the closet start taking off tags off clothes washing clothes putting clothes away also don't mind her bruise that's not marker that's a bruise she fell off the chair off the dining chair she pushed herself out very vigorously and uh looked to the side at the same time and couldn't catch herself falling so Okay, say so let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. By the way, guys, this is what I'm having for breakfast. I'm just having this gluten-free crisp bread. I feel like I'm less bloated when I eat gluten-free things. Not everything. Certain gluten-free things are too fake for me. But anyway, I'm having that little piece of crisp bread with a little bit of Philadelphia and the sun-dried tomatoes that have olive oil and Italian herbs. I officially entered the part of the pregnancy where I can't have big meals. I can't have anything remotely close to a big meal. So I'm just having snacks all day because... Anything I eat, I literally cannot breathe. It's pretty much impossible to have anything more than like a snack. We are officially upstairs. It's like two hours later. Two hours later. And we are, we are, Alessia, ooh, sorry guys. We are about to dismantle that closet right there. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go take it out. Yeah. Let's go take out the car seat. Yeah. Alessia has been asking to take out the car seat. She can sit in it like every single day we're here and she keeps playing with everything i have to give you guys like full disclosure i don't really have a plan on what i'm gonna do i'm a little bit overwhelmed on how much stuff i have just because this is my second child and i have so many things from her and then i had people donate me a bunch of things and then we bought a few things so i've just been shoving it in that closet like this would probably go into the garage into this new box since i think i took all the legs and everything out already bye can also be taken out, washed, and put into storage. You guys, don't underestimate Marketplace. I got this bumbo, is that what it's called? A bumbo for like $7 on Marketplace. I'm so excited. It's not like the newest. And it looks like, you know, they like they used it. So it's a little bit discolored right here, but it's gonna do the trick. Put this probably downstairs in the playroom or outside. You need two of something because we have an upstairs and a downstairs. And so I'm really excited to have one downstairs and one upstairs. I wanna be running with a bumbo and two kids up and down. So finding this for $7 was super exciting. The bath comes back. Highly recommend this bath, by the way. It has to be included in my must have which I'll film at some point. Okay, it's formula fed Alessia. So I still have this. It basically keeps the water at an optimal, what's it called, temperature. This is a mat that we used to use because we had a lot of tile, place we rented. A kitchen, kitchen utensils, like there's baby lead weaning here, bottles. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it at that in terms of the bottom half of the closet. I still have all of that to do, but I think I'm gonna deal with this mess first because that's a lot. I don't wanna overwhelm myself and I only have so much time today. This is probably gonna be like a three-part video. Now see what I need to wash. So I have the Snuggle Me I need to wash. I have that bouncer I need to wash. That I need to dismantle and wash. And then maybe I'll do newborn and zero to three. Maybe just store away the bigger sizes because this is overwhelming. Oh, and then I also have my boppy. I need to take off the cover and wash. Oh my God, there's so much washing to do. Step one, wash all baby things. Okay, here we have our little laundry basket. Okay, so I just took out all of the newborn things and this is what I'm working with. Um, I feel a little bit overwhelmed. I feel like that's a lot, but I've been pretty blessed in a couple of friends donating me some of their kids things like when they're that small Items don't get ruined as much and uh, I also had a lot of gender neutral things in the newborn size for Alessia So I'm just gonna reuse those but I definitely know I'm gonna prefer like the zippered onesies with the attached mitts because it just makes life so much easier that it's all on in one zippers is like a definite must because you're changing them so much and you know closing and opening every single button when it doesn't match up it was just it's gonna drive me crazy Especially, I think the second time around with the toddler, like I just need to be quick. So, anyway, let's go through this and put it into the water. Okay, it is unboxing time. We are going to go through 
a package I got from H&M that has dresses for my baby shower. I'm really nervous because I have one week left and I don't have uh, a choice. I need to find something quick. I'm also going to do a little Target haul. Let's start with Target. They got so many cute new things in and one of the things they got in are a ton of like spring and kind of leading into summer things and Valentine's things. Cute little like frames. Uh, they're floating frames. I think I think that's what they're called where the picture looks like it's floating. So I got four. Next thing that we got is the usual, our Honest Wipes. Say I have these on hand everywhere we go. Alessia just loves to touch everything. Obviously she's a toddler, she's growing, she's exploring, but she also loves to touch her face. So she's always touching her eyes and her nose and putting her hands in her mouth. So having those on hand is a must. I noticed they don't dry out your hands because I use them as well when we're out and about but they do, they do a pretty good job of sanitizing because I've used them in the car. We've had snacks in the car, you know, after going somewhere or something and they clean her hands pretty well. And so knock on wood, she hasn't been sick. Then I also got this, I forgot what it's called, removable contact paper. This is like super cute. I'm thinking of covering one of her tables or two of her tables are all damaged. Like she just keeps coloring on it, putting stickers and like all the stuff. So I just kind of like want to refresh her. Okay, so I've been wanting to get these for the longest time and the other day alessia and i were making um we were making cookies and i needed like a very tiny measurement i needed like one fourth it literally has one fourth valentine's is around the corner and they have so many so many cute valentine's things i only paid i think five bucks i saw these at macy's the other day and i think they were like 23 dollars. and i was like no i'm not spending 23 dollars on measuring spoons time for the mommy bag I'm a little nervous about these outfits because I haven't had a matching set in so many years. I'm always like mismatched. So anyway, I got these pants which are ribbed and I hear that Lululemon has something similar, but these are from Target. I need to try them on. And then the top just looks like this, Racerback. Alessia has officially potty trained and she's never in a diaper during the day anymore. She's always asking to go. The only time we wear a diaper now is just for naps and sleep and I'm super happy. So I got these uh, Cat and Jack undies in size T4. I always size up because washing stuff like this, they shrink and then they're not comfortable. They jam into her bum. If you guys wanna know, more about our potty training and all of my tips. I feel like there's a ton of things I wish I would have done differently. It's more for a longer sit down video. So if you guys wanna see something like that, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely deliver. So that's Target. Now we're gonna move along to H&M. By the way, this is not a Stanley. I thought I was gonna be a Stanley person because back in the day, I, basically marketing worked on me and I fell into the trap of buying myself a Yeti. I love the Yeti, but for me, this handle is everything. The Yeti, I just couldn't, grasp it com comfortably because it's so big and so slippery and i love the fact that this has a spout here is that what it's called the spout it has the you can close it up and it has the hole for the straw the straw is dirty right now i highly recommend reduce it's half the price and it works just the same and keeps your water cool i actually don't remember which dresses i ended up going this was like a few like a week ago but it's been laying there i wanted to film it for you guys and i forgot what i ordered let's go with stuff that I got for Alessia. I know I got stuff for Alessia. Oh, it's so cute. I wanted her to have a special outfit on during the baby shower as well. So I decided to get her a dress as well. I hope it fits. Okay, well, it might be a little bit big. I thought it was so cute with this uh, detailing called the collar. That she's into dresses finally, which is super exciting. I don't know if she's gonna like that one. She tends to like the bright colors, like the pinks and the... So it's kind of cold. It's a little bit chilly in Florida right now. And Alessia likes dresses so and but you know it's a little too cold not to have pants on but i don't want her to have pants i don't want her to wear pants with dresses because it just becomes too bulky so i got her some tights i got her a gray and a black and then i also got her i think a white set just look like that and then for myself i don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea but i got myself sweater sweater dresses probably a bad idea because i'm always hot and i'm going to be running around catering to guests but um Here's option number one. How cute is that? Oh, this is so nice, but it's too short for a baby shower dress. It's a me dress, but it's not for a baby shower for sure. Yeah. <laughs> It's a little bit see-through, so I need those, you know, those other types of uh, underwear. I love this sweater dress. It is so cute. Oh, if I could, I would definitely wear this. But anyways, maybe I'll just keep this for another day. And I decided to get myself kind of more of a nude option. Honestly, I love H&M. It is so reliable. If you guys ever need something for an event or like any kind of clothing, they have so many options. Oh, but the thing is, I didn't know there's a slit in the back. <laughs> All right, this is option number two. 
I honestly love it, but I don't know if it's me. I feel like in certain angles it makes me look nice and then certain angles I just feel like I don't look good. The back is fine. I was worried about the, what is it called? The slit in the back. It looks fine. Again, I need to wear different underwear with this, but it's very comfy. I don't feel hot, so that's a plus. And then I think last but not least, it's a green one. It's a fully like wrappable dress. You can make it as tight. Or as loose as you want it. I like it, but I don't like it. I love the color. I love how it feels. It feels so soft and buttery. Obviously, I need to iron it. I just don't like how it it's a bit big for me. So I think it's like cinching in the back. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like just maybe feels like it's too big for me. But other than that, it's really nice. I like it. The, this is a bit too low cut for me personally. So I'm gonna need to either, I don't know, pin it, sew it, or wear something else. It goes down past the knee, which is cute. <laughs> 